California. I've come to Ethiopia to do some work with Jeffrey Tabin in this Himalayan cataract project. And I'm proud and happy to be here and looking forward to hopefully about a thousand cataracts ahead of me in the week to come. And um, looking forward to it. The camp functions in a very, very efficient fashion. Uh, what we do is we collect people from the countryside, as many as we can possibly recruit with problems like cataract and pterygium, and we intend to treat as many as we possibly can. You'll basically sit for a good 12 hours a day and operate on as many patients as you can possibly uh, work on that day. And we do it in um, sort of an assembly line fashion uh, in a way that we can treat efficiently uh, and effectively uh, as many people as we can possibly come across. If I were home, I would have just a vast array of instruments to be able to use to tackle this sort of problem and more time. Here, I'm faced with a ton of patients, as well as limited instrumentation, and potentially a language barrier between me and my nurse. Particularly the ones you remember, the ones who've had you know, really bad traumatic cataracts, or they're, they're blind, or they're young, uh, they're kids. Um, so certain features do stand out, and then you look for them the next day with excitement to see how they've done. And uh, you, you, know, you look for um, that sort of moment of joy when they take off the patch and they can see and they haven't seen in years. Uh, that's really uh, an, an incredible moment, and that's why we come. <laughs>